Hey, I'm back with another package from the cubicle. I know my last package was like two months ago and it was $1,000. I'm back again. I think it's $300. So let's open it up. Trusty blade. Okay, let's see what we're working with here. Sheesh. Lots of packaging. That was underwhelming. We got Le DNM 37, cube mat number one, cube mat number two, Gan timer, beautiful. Heighten, Heighten number two, Gan 356 maglev, more cube mats. The X-Man Hong 5x5 in this nice soft cord box and some FZ Calm. And then the Waylong V9 20 magnet ball core. The lubes are pretty standard. I probably won't go into the lubes today, but I got DNM and I got FZ Calm because they're good lubes. Okay, Hong 5x5. Ooh. So cube and then accessories. Let's pull out the accessories. We'll look at those later. Collector's cards. Are Chi the only ones that make these now? And Gan. Like these were good. I remember back in the day I used to collect these. I still do. But they should make more. Finding a cube without bulky packaging. True. Bit of ASMR there. Nice glossy plastic. Come to think of it, I don't think I've tried a UV 5x5 before. This is my first ever UV 5x5. It's actually really good. Okay, part of what you're seeing is definitely skill issue on my part. Um, I'm very slow at 5x5, five five, but what I have noticed is that whilst it is sandy, I know that's gonna go away after some solves, so that's fine. It's really quiet as well, listen to this. It's got that really like low pitch sound, so it's really nice. So for context, I do have the MGC 5x5. Five five. Since I've broken in my 5x5, five five, it's better than this. So I'm probably gonna end up maining this for a few reasons. A, it's UV, so it's nice and grippy. And B, it's smaller than the MGC. It definitely feels smaller. Corner cutting isn't the best because it's a bit, I guess, tight-ish out of the box. Um, so I'll probably need to tension it and then lube it a bit as well. Under the hood, we've got just regular spring screw mechanism. Boom. So nothing special there. But in terms of the actual cube itself, it feels nice and grippy. I'll probably have to break it in and do a lot of solves though, that's the thing. So the Hong is $50, so it is on the pricey side still. I think the MGC is in like the 20s or the 30s maybe. Right there, I've left it on my desk. I'm gonna solve that lot. In fact, I am gonna scramble it. I'll do a solve with this layer on. So not only is this UV cord, but it's also ball core. So it's got alignment. I'm not getting any like auto alignment on this cube though, but the magnet strengths are weaker as a result, which is good because it covers a larger area. Ooh, accessories. More use screwdriver, but longer. Cube wipe and pamphlet. And that's it. No bag. Nah, uh, that's the sad thing actually. There's no cube bag in this one. Okay, it's time for the GAN. Whoa, <laughs> the GAN timer. Package ASMR. Okay, let's open this thing up. <gasps> Wait, what is this? An accessories box? What is this? Oh, comes with cable. Probably way too short to actually use though, so probably not very useful. It's just a regular USB-C. And then the timer itself. And another pamphlet. Oh, this one's a guide. Oh, please have batteries, please have batteries. Please have batteries. Wait, what? How'd you turn this thing on? I think it needs charge. I'll plug it in, I'll plug it in. Whilst we're waiting for the GAN timer to charge, we have a GAN 356 maglev. Tight box. I'm guessing that's my cube station card for a non-smart cube, very strange choice. Accessories box we'll look at in a bit. Let's get into the actual cube. Box feels a little cheap and like kind of flexible. Ooh, okay. If I had my eyes closed and I was given this in my hand, it just feels like a regular GAN cube. There's nothing different about it. I'd say it's better than the GAN 14. I think the GAN 14 was a flop. It's also half the price of the GAN 14. It's very loose though, that's something I will say. And it's not extraordinary so far. Compared to like a typical Moyu cube, the shades look a bit richer. Is it better than the GAN 12? 
No. Is it better than the GAN 13? Yes. Is it better than the GAN 14? Yes. The auto line is pretty strong, which is good. That was something that was wrong with the GAN 13 and GAN 14. Center caps are annoying as usual, typical GAN. Under the hood, it has the same tensioning system as the GAN 14. So plenty of adjustment options there. It's fast, it's wobbly, as typical GAN cubes are. But I think with the setup, this cube has potential. Yeah, I'm gonna do 100 solves on this. This, I feel like I can do 100 solves on without wanting to throw it at a wall. In my opinion, the GAN 13 and GAN 14 was an L. This GAN 256 Maglev is like a, a semi-W. I wouldn't say it's like a full-on like best cube they've ever made, but it's definitely better than their recent releases. So they're on the right track. Let's check the accessories box. Comes with cube bag. Just standard stuff in the box, nothing special there. Have they innovated the cube bag? Oh, tiny SIM card tool. I need to keep that safe. I currently have this box. I put all my like tools and stuff in it. So these are all my tools that I use for different cubes. So this one is joining the collection. Is it louder than the GAN X? It is slightly. The GAN X I remember being pretty quiet. I'd say compared to the GAN 356 ME, this is an easy pick. I like this cube. Usually I'd want to put a cube down if I don't like it. This thing is smooth. Good job, GAN. This one's $42.99, so the same price as the Waylong V9 Ball Core UV. It's not as good, in my opinion, but with setup, it might be. Adjustable magnets? No. So there's no adjustable magnets on this one, which I like. The magnet strengths are on the weaker side, which is fine, because they've got the auto align as well, so they don't have to be that strong. Let's get into some cube mats before we get into the Wave Riders. Oh, that looks fresh. Here's the thing. When you're cubing and you're using stack mat and you want to drop your cube, there's a good chance you're probably going to end up damaging your cube in the long run if you just slam it onto your desk. So you really need cube mats. These ones are really thick. So we have Critics Blue, Dark Mode, Royal Red, and Light Mode for you Light Mode creeps out there. For comparison, this is the, the big mat on the cubicle. It's that thick. And then this is the mini mat. They're like three times as thick. They're really good. Oh, they're good size. They're smooth. They work really well as a mouse mat. They're about... 5.5 GAN cubes wide and about four GAN cubes tall. If I had to rank them, no, I'd say I like all of them. I like all of them. Although the red one stands out more, so I'd probably use that less. Dark mode, I like. Me like the dark mode. Then I'd say the blue one, and then the white one's really good as well. These are really nice. The, yeah, and then it's printed with the cubicle logo. Very nice. Shout out to the cubicle. So if you do want to save a bit on your cubes, use code CRITICS for a juicy discount. I need to put that in there for legal reasons. We've got a choice. Either we try out the Wave Riders, or we try out the WRM V9 20 magnet ball core. This is going to be the spam battle now. Which one's going to win? V9's winning. Worm. Dolphin. Worm. Okay, I think people like the worm a bit more. We'll save the dolphins to the end. How about that? So if you know me, you know that I collected every Moyu cube and that included all four versions of the WRM V9 and Moyu did not stop there because they released another WRM V9. So let's open this one up. I'm hoping it's actually good and not just another random Moyu release. First more U3x3 three three of 2024. Let's see how good it is. Oh, I hate these boxes. What's with more you and just making packages that I can't open? Not so satisfying in some all that. Okay, so I'll put all four WRMs in front of me. Comfortable U2 with like minimal effort. Look at that. It's UV coated. It's got maglev, so it's definitely going to be too fast. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I missed donation. No. Shout out to Johan for the thousand Costa Rican coconuts. <laughs> Whoa. What? Respect, Johan. I'm sorry for leaving your Costa Rican coconuts. Huh? Okay, let's do a quick solve. You know what? Let's give it a go. Oh, we can use the GAN timer now. Ooh, I, 
I absolutely smacked the GAN timer there. I got a 14.954. One thing I will say about this timer is it's very thin, very light. And I'm guessing the middle button's reset. Yep. A bit of a photosensitive epilepsy warning. They do flash. I'm hoping there's a way you can remove the flash. Otherwise, I feel like GAN are alienating those people. Okay, so one thing I will say is that if you like fast cubes, like overly fast cubes, and I know there are people out there that do, this cube is right up your street. Like I can barely control it myself, but I know there's people out there that do really like the super fast cubes. The magnet strengths are really good. Let me compare it to the ball core. Like, look at this. This is the magnet bump of the ball core. And then this is the magnet bump of this one. It's very weak in comparison, but it does the job because there's extra magnets now. Honestly, this cube feels more like a Super Waylong than it does a WRM V9. Is it better than 356 Maglev? Without setup, it's way too fast, but with setup, I think it will be better. The only problem is I don't want to set this up and then have it go completely too fast in like 20 solves. I think this cube is in desperate need of Angstrom Dignitas and Gravitas. The finale of today's unboxing are the Heighten Wave Rider V ones yeah let's just call them dolphin cubes okay so we've got dolphin cube standard and dolphin cube flagship okay so let's start with the dolphin standard oh the stickers Ooh, okay so cube card heighten cube stand accessories box again we don't interest ourselves in accessories box boxes So this is the first cube I've ever tried that feels gummy out of the box. So it's not even like it's completely dry on the inside and it has that dry sandiness. This cube feels slow because it's gummy. Probably with factory lube. But I can, you can see I'm undershooting on the M slices. Not amazing. It looks like it's got adjustable magnets similar to, I think the Tornado V3 has that style of magnet adjustment. Same as the WRM 2021. I mean, it's stable. It has ball core. It has, it doesn't have UV. It has this like glossy-ish plastic under the hood. Oh no, no. So this looks very scary. Okay, wait, watch this. Jump scan three, two, one, boom. What on earth is that? Holy, whoa. This cube has done one of my cubing icks. They've created a tensioning system and a compression system, but they've kept a regular spring, a regular screw. So once you change the screw, you've messed up the tensioning system because it won't be in even tensions anymore. So avoid using the screw on this cube. Nothing mind blowing, not bad, but not amazing. Let's see what's in the accessories box. Ooh. Ooh. Magnet strengths are good, so I don't feel like I'm going to be changing those. Corner cutting. Meh. Corner cutting reverse. Ooh. Comes with a very nice cube wipe. This cube wipe is going to get destroyed. I'm probably going to use it to clean out all the cubes. And then a bunch of pamphlets. We won't get into those. They look like tutorials. The finale. The big boy. The Wave Rider V1 Maglev. There's another piece of tape. Bruh. There we go. Cube card. I got cube number 2393. Um, same accessories, I'm gonna guess. Oh, that is sly. People would probably miss that. The tensioning tool, the panda tool, is inside the inside the bag. Once for tension and then once for compression. Okay, first turns of the flagship. It feels extremely similar. So the thing about this cube, again, it feels a bit sluggish, but it feels sluggish on the inside. It has got adjustable edge magnets and it's got adjustable tension and compression. Yeah, I don't think it's doing anything amazing. It's not doing anything groundbreaking, but it's a nice cube. It's a nice cube. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.